Blessings on you, brother. Grazie. I wonder if you can help me. What do you see? A monk in black robes who lacks one of his ten fingers. Well, Brother Guido has only nine toes. You sure it wasn't a toe? Quite sure. And then there's Brother Domenico, but it's his entire left arm he's lacking. Again, quite sure it was a finger. Hmm. Now wait a moment. I do recall a black robed monk with nine fingers. Yes, of course. When we had our last San Vincenzo's feast, at the Abbey. Yes, I know the place. I'll try there. Grazie. Go in peace, brother. I always do. Excuse me, brother. I wonder if you can... Uh, unholy demon! Get away! What's wrong? You're the one who killed Brother Stefano! Brothers, the killer of monks has returned! Please, no! I don't want to die! I only kill those who kill others. Your brother Stefano was a killer. I'm sure you are no such thing. Now, listen to me. I'm looking for a black-robed monk who's missing a finger. Missing a finger, you say? Do you mean, like, Fra Savonarola? Savonarola? Who is this? You know him? I did. He was one of us, for a time. And then? We suggested he retire to a hermitage for a good long time. I'm afraid to say his retreat has come to an end. Where would he have gone? Oh dear. Santo Spirito? In Firenze? It's where he studied. Perhaps it's where he would return. I thank you. Go with God, brother. Girolamo Savonarola, a Dominican friar from Ferrara, this man took his job seriously. He saw the excesses of his age, the rich stomping the poor into the dirt, the priests selling indulgences to the populace, and he went insane. 
calling himself an instrument of God, Savonarola descended on Frenzy. His sermons sent people into frenzies. He demanded an end to all personal property, to all progress, a return to Eden. Knowledge became the enemy. And he could erase it all with the piece of Eden at his command. Books, paintings, musical instruments, he burned everything in the bonfire of the vanities. History unraveled as his legions took control, and Firenze descended into darkness. Hey Desmond, I think I repaired that busted memory. Why don't you try opening it? had only a tenth of his father's talent, we'd still have some place to call home. Never should have welcomed that mad monk into the city. Look at all the misery he's wrought. The captive! There he is! Lajou! Fresh cut Don't understand why they'd be so willing to accept his oppression. Hold up! Get him! Salve, Ezio. You picked a fine time for a homecoming. 
Then it's true. Savonarola has taken control of Firenze. Yes. No doubt aided by that treacherous artifact. We should get to work on retrieving it. That may be more complicated than you think. <laughs> when isn't it? Why don't you fill me in on things? Walk with me. It all started a few weeks ago. The man everyone once reviled was suddenly the one they worshipped. Ah, the apple. Only in part. It's not the city he's enthralled, but its leaders. Men possessed of influence and power. They, in turn, oppress the citizens and ensure his will is done. The people act as if they have no say in the matter. Rare is the man willing to oppose the status quo. And so it falls to us to help them see the truth. Those bodies bear the emblem of the Borgia. Yes. The Spaniard keeps sending his soldiers into Firenze. And Firenze keeps sending them back. Usually in pieces. Then he knows the apple is here as well. An unfortunate complication. Follow my lead. assault would be dangerous. True. But what other option is there? Aside from the city leaders, the people's minds are their own, correct? See. Si. And they follow Savonarola not by choice, but force and fear? See. Si. Then I propose we use this to our advantage. If we can silence his lieutenants and stir up discontent, he will be distracted, and I will have a chance to strike. Clever. I'll speak with La Volpe and Paola. They can help to organize the uprising as you free the districts. Then it's settled. I'll take care of his abettors.
They say that new contraption from Padua does wonders to a man's balls. Yes? Go! You hold your guard! Oh, no. You're tired of it! Reject the base and material. Seek salvation in the flames! The devil is a good bird. What have I done? What have I done? Your actions were not your own. But they were. My own self-doubt let him hold me as he did. I am sorry. As am I. Non è una scelta che compio a cuor leggero. Requiescat in pace. Stop him! I'm here with you! I'm with you, ragazzo! People of Firenze, come, gather round. Listen well to what I say. The end approaches. Now is the time to repent, to beg God's forgiveness. Don't you see? These signs are all around us. Unrest, famine, disease, 
corruption. He's here. These are the harvests of darkness. We must stand time in our devotion. Let this consume us all. I see you die. Then you think me mad. Even the Romans not say the same of Jesus. <laughs> that I too once shared your uncertainty, your fear. But that was before Savonarola came. He showed me the truth. At last, my eyes were open. And so I... In the hope that I might open yours as well. Understand the need. Your mind, since it is your own. <laughs> Not all of us require deception to be convinced. I already believed. All I said is true. Nothing is true. Non è un compito facile il mio. Requiescat in pace. Stop him, ragazzi! Oh. He won't escape! Faces the beasts in the wild. Your coin seems genuine. Your feculins for my boots, Capito! Nothing! She won't bother us again, will you, stupid old Capone?
Non si passa. Do you hear me? Until you've all submitted and given yourself over to the prophet, Savonarola, this bridge will remain close to you. I hear you moaning and complaining. You say you have things to do, places to go, obligations to fulfill. Ha! You have but one obligation. I want you to submit. Hora! Which way? Why fight us? Why raise this? This city is ours. Your precious Medici have abandoned us. Fled into the wastes to wallow in self-pity. Savonarola wants only the best for you. A city free of vice and temptation. A people In the way! Bad guy, you won't get far! <laughs> Savonarola charmed you. Wealth and power do not ensure contentment. I wanted even more. And now instead, you have nothing. Questo non è che un atto dovuto. Requiescat in pace. Come <laughs> on. 
Remember your training, in. man. None of my affair. Just let me go. I'm not ready. Your orders are simple. Keep watch over these fields and ensure no harm comes to the bundles of Fiendo. It may seem a mundane task, but it is critical nonetheless. Without this most basic resource, they'll lose the means to resist. Then you will be forced to stand down. I hear you grumbling. Yes. You think this post is a waste of time? Haven't I seen you before? You think this post a waste of time? But you must understand, our very existence depends upon keeping all of this secure. You would have let your own people starve. And for what? Too long I suffered their insults. They called me simple and low class. I wanted their respect. I'm afraid you do not have mine. Per quanto sia benoso il trapasso, lieto sarà il tuo sonno. Requiescat in pace.
Secure those crates. We can ill afford to let their contents fall into the wrong hands. We'll see just how tough the holdouts are when they're forced to go without food. If they want to eat, they'll accept Savonarola as their leader. No, 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 you beat this place out! <laughs> Still hold any sway in this city it's beyond me. My eyes. Then I saw the evils of Thomas and the division of Craig. All that remains is for us. to force devotion. Sometimes, the people must be told what to think. No good has ever come of that. Benché il mio cuore sia turbato, la mia mente è lucida. Requiescat in pace. You think you can escape? 
our work. Firenze is sick. It's our duty to cure her. How? By forcing our people to follow a madman? It is unwise for you to challenge those in power. Yes. Well, that is about to change. No! You won't take me. Savonarola will know of your treachery. Guards! Guards! not my fault. No, you made the choice. He charmed me with that thing. Only because you allowed it. Lo faccio per il popolo. Reguiescat in pace. It's quite simple, amici. If you desire care, you'll submit yourselves fully to our new ruler. support the Medici who, as you know, have long since fled Firenze, or accept Savonarola. Why fight him? Why refuse? He is a good man, strong of character and morals. He seeks to save us from ourselves. And saving Get is away. what we need. have spilled the blood of a healer. No. 
I have spilled the blood of a tyrant. To command such power over the body, between this world and the next, it seems I grew intoxicated. And now you grow still. La tua morte non sarà inutile. Requiescat in pace. Regum et omnium gubernator.
Rex Regum, et omnium gubernator, cuius potentie nulla creatura resistere potes, quid propri... Eurum misereri, qui veri agun penite... I thought he preached the word of God. I fear his sermon is a lie. I led my flock astray. It's just... I wanted so badly to believe. We all do. Pedro computa l'opera di mio padre requiescat in pace. Something is wrong here. Where is everyone? Another challenger. Excellent. Savonarola warned me that some would oppose our rule. And so I devised this little trap to ferret out those foolish enough to play at hero. It's proven to be both entertaining and effective. Incoming Charmo! <laughs> what a spectacle! <laughs> Just how long you survive! Another of you days now. Two over three dozen of my men. I thought he was fine. No! He's interesting. Every day with a fit. Another of you approaches. Nonconformists. Well contained. Revolutionaries. I've seen it. Just excuses. Am I to believe you're a champion of the downtrodden then? A hero come to free the sea. A rebel leader intends to usher in a new age. When you fight for justice, liberty, hmm? which lie do you tell yourself? And do not be mistaken. These are lies. No matter what any of you say, you're all here for the same reason. The same selfish reason. You seek something. A glory. Distinction. Fame. Towards a physical. Spiritual. Or both. So which are you? Is a validation you desire, or perhaps cannons for some old deal. Did your father abuse you? Did other children teach you? Did a lover spurn you? If I had to guess. Ora! Yes! Come and try! Get him! Not getting past me. Is this truly who I was? So proud and 
cruel. No. Savonarola bewitched you. Did he? Or was it that I tasted the power and found myself intoxicated? I wish I had been stronger. As do I. Mirin cresce, ma non c'è altro modo. Requiescat in pace. You've done well, Etsy. What happens now? Watch. Silence! I demand silence! Why are you here? Why do you disturb me? You should be cleansing your home! Cleansing yourself! There are bonfires to see, prayers to be said, penance to be done! Why are you here? Why are you here? Sit down. Get 
Giudicarti. Requiescat in pace. Silenzio! Silenzio! Twenty-two years ago, I stood where I stand now and watched my loved ones die. Betrayed by those I had called friends. Vengeance clouded my mind. It would have consumed me. Were it not for the wisdom of a few strangers. Who taught me to look past my instincts. They never preached answers. But guided me to learn from myself. We don't need anyone to tell us what to do. Not Savonarola, not the Merici. We are free to follow our own path. There are those who will take that freedom from us. Too many of you gladly give it. But it is our ability to choose whatever you think is true that makes us human. There is no book or teacher to give you the answers show you the path. Choose your own way. Do not follow me or anyone else.
What an oddly cut cloak. What an oddly cut cloak. We do to Capone like you. We bring out Bruno the donkey. Trust me. Not so good. sick and wounded. Oh, 
Whoa, that is impressive. Go. Bring our man a flagon of wine, for he has our cause and Come, amici. A weekly bleeding is back. Whoa, that is impressive. Go, eh?
Buongiorno. Salute, Ser Ezio. Shall we take a look at the list? Buon viaggio! Leonardo! Ezio, so good to see you. How can I help you? Haha! <laughs> you found another one! How exciting! This goes down here, I take that up there and blend it with... Uh, I've got it! Ezio! It is time, uncle. Let us finish what you and my father started all those years ago. Indeed. Perhaps now we can finally make sense of this prophecy, and put a stop to whatever it is the Spaniard is plotting. We should start by locating the vault. The Codex pages will lead us to it. Let's take a look. Rodrigo Borgia, a.k.a. the Spaniard. A dark stain on human history, Rodrigo left a trail of blood a mile wide on his quest to unify Italy under the Templar banner. Anyone who opposed him ended up in little pieces inside a sack, or, if he was in a good mood, poisoned. Once he was crowned Pope, Rodrigo, or should I say Alexander VI, used his influence to wage war with any city that held out against the Templars. And then there were the rumoured X-rated atrocities. Hundreds of courtesans brought to the Vatican by the cartload and the Pope's close friendship with his illegitimate daughter, Lucrezia. Oh yeah, and did I mention the killings never stopped? Throughout all his public debauchery, Rodrigo was quietly murdering his enemies behind the scenes, consolidating Templar power for the moment when they would seize control. <laughs> 